We continue on the Domino's Post Game Report. Adam Cavalier alongside Zach Pangalo. Zach, a uh, uh, tumultuous little game today, 77-76. You fall to Catawba. Uh, fell behind by 13 in the second half, but then a 20-6 run uh, to come back, take the lead, only to fall in the final eight seconds. How do you sum up the second half? Um, I mean, you got to give credit to Catawba. They're, it's the home floor. They came They came here, uh, you know, jacked for this game, knowing they were – uh, right behind us in the standings so a lot of the credit goes goes to them but we just we had a lot of opportunities late in that second half that we didn't really capitalize on especially late in the game when we had that final play oh, break down the final couple of moments charles clark tries to drive has the shot blocked out of bounds two seconds left and the inbounds goes to sawyer williams analyze what was meant to happen there we were running the play uh Saul was just supposed to dive down on the block, and Bird was trying to screen his man, get him an open look on the weak side. And I thought I thought he had it down there. He had kind of an angle, and it just looked like he kind of bobbled the pass, and then he just kind of sent one up at the end. But we were trying to look for Sawyer on that weak side block because, I mean, granted he may have missed some easy ones, but we, I mean, we all got confidence in him to make make a lot a lot more shots. So it's just. Trying to trying to get an open look as best as you can with two seconds left. You look at a game like this, back-to-back games on the road against quality teams, Queens and Catawba, where you lose by uh, a possession in the final moments with a chance to tie or take the lead with seconds left. What do these losses do for Carson in basketball with six games left in the season? Well, it's definitely heartbreaking, you know, when you battle battle that hard and you're just that close to closing out the game and the, when it ends like that it's just it's heartbreaking but we just gotta keep pushing I mean like coach said the basketball guys they're gonna smile down on us one of these times if it's not right now it, it'll be later later on in the season come tournament time but we just we can't we can't let this game get us down because we still got a whole seven games I think left of the season and conference tournament so we just gotta keep pushing and keep fighting matchup with Anderson on Wednesday night. What needs to be done between now and Wednesday to, like you said, wash the taste of this one out of your mouth and get ready for the Trojans? We just got to regroup. We got to go into practice with a good mentality and just try to try to go down to Anderson and, and punch them in the mouth early. And just try to set a tone while we're down there. Uh, it, that's kind of what you did last season against the Trojans. S- similar, Try to have a similar mindset this year? Yeah, yeah. Zach, thanks for the time. Thank you. Uh, we'll hopefully talk to you Wednesday night. Hopefully. Thank you. That is Carson Newman, sophomore guard, Zach Pangalo. We take-